yourself comfortable. So, I must say, you're quite lovely. Where were you headed? I see. You know, it's not good to stay out too late. It can get very dangerous around here if you're not careful. Ah, yes, the tea. Let me get right to that for you. Mmm. Oh. I'm not afraid of the dark. Smell this. Mmm. It's lovely, isn't it? Mm, I enjoy making candles and all sorts of things for people to enjoy. I must say, you have such beautiful skin. Mm. It's perfect. Absolutely flawless. You must take excellent care of it. Do you mind if I touch it? Thank you. So extraordinary. Okay. Well, I guess I should get started on that tea for you. I'm fresh out of mugs, so I hope you don't mind if I serve you your tea in this. Oh, it's quite beautiful, if you ask me. I love the shape and design. Oh, you can do all sorts of things with these little faces. Okay. Well, I think if you don't mind, I'm just gonna start by Throwing you a fresh pot. Would you like? I have several, several different types of teas. I have several different types of teas lavender, eucalyptus, rosemary, peppermint, 
and a sweet orange. My personal favorite is the peppermint. I find peppermint tea to be quite sharp and invigorating. It helps clear the mind from all sorts of things. Here. Sometimes I just enjoy drinking peppermint straight from the bottle, which can be quite the rush. Why don't you have a little sip? No, no, no. Just a drop won't hurt you. Stick out your tongue. Let me see. Here we go. Just a single drop on the tongue. It's quite different, isn't it? Just let it settle in for a moment. You should never accept anything from a stranger. It's not my fault you didn't know that. You poor, poor, innocent thing. Why would you drink that? You just make it so easy. All of you do. Mm. Every last one of you. Feels like just this time last year, I was going through the same, same thing. And the poor soul was just as vulnerable and gullible as you. You're probably wondering why I actually brought you here. Shh, don't try to speak. That was a very potent elixir. You will be out of it for the next few hours, which gives me the perfect amount of time to steal all of your youth. I mean, I'm 142 years old. How do you think I still look like this? It's because I prey on the sad, vulnerable souls that pretty much walk right in my door without me really having to do much. But you are quite, quite different than the others. I almost feel bad if I could feel anything at all. You are the sweetest looking soul I've seen. I'm sorry that this is going to age you quite a bit, but if you're lucky, it'll make it so. At least you'll be able to enjoy what time you have left once I'm through with you. Ah, for me, it's going to give me more years of youth and beauty, which is my ultimate goal. But as time goes on, it seems that I am craving more and more souls to keep up my appearance. Didn't used to be this way. No. 20 years ago, one soul would make me all set for five, ten years. Forty years ago, I just needed one soul to be good for 
10 years, but recently I need one every single year before Halloween. Seems like the perfect time, don't you agree? Plus, I know I dress and look a little different than most, so it's the perfect time for me to come out and socialize and everyone just assumes I'm in costume. Idiots. Anyway, enough talking. Again, sorry. You seem really nice. But, that's how you ended up here. But, they have Botox and other things today, so maybe you won't look so old once I'm through with you. <laughs> that's it. Don't try to stop this. You are completely under my spell. Just a few more strands of your youth, and I will be as young and beautiful as ever. Mm. Oh, you poor thing. bags under your eyes are just getting worse and worse with every strand I take from you. <laughs> it's a shame I can't feel any remorse for all the years that I've stolen. <laughs> But, this is the price I must pay to be young forever. Like I said, you are quite handsome, so I do feel some guilt over stealing from you, but not that. I'm sure you'll still be handsome once I add 60 years on to you. <laughs> Beautiful. I'll be having this tonight for dinner. And a flower. so lovely. <laughs> well, you're going to be in this state for quite some time, so I'll let you rest. I don't think you should be back on the streets for several days. I wouldn't want you to be too confused. Plus, none of your friends or family are ever going to believe it's you. I mean, you don't look like the same person that walked through my doors. There's a mirror right there if you'd like to look. You poor, poor thing. It's okay. is a very beautiful blush that I love using and uh, let me dab a little on your cheeks and it'll add a youthful glow right back into you. Probably deduct a couple years from you. Those years are mine. I will say you are still quite handsome. Hmm. Such a 
beautiful shade. I should wear it more often. <sighs> Don't worry. You're okay. You're okay. You have just made one lucky witch very happy. And I already feel so much younger. Hmm. But I must not rush this. I'm going to have quite a yummy meal tonight. All thanks to you and your youth. No hard feelings, I hope. Here, let me help you to your bedroom. You can spend the night here while you recover. I'm not that heartless. <laughs> Plus, I wouldn't mind the company. In fact, Stay here as long as you like, since you have nowhere else to go now. No friends, no family, memories that'll feel like years and years ago. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go get your room ready for you. Stay with me. Mm. Mm.